OK。This book is called "The Cat Who Came for Tacos." Tacos. One moonless night, a cat fell asleep on the steps of a softly lit house. The cat was still there in the morning when a woman opened the door. Hola, said the woman. Hello, where did you come from? The cat stood up. Its eyes were wide. Its middle was very thin. A man came to the door. Probasito, poor thing, he said. Have you no home? The cat looked into their eyes. At once, the woman said. Call this home, if you want it. Mi casa es su casa. My home is your home. Oh yes, said the man. Please come in, my friend. Mi casa es su casa. My home is your home. They held the door open, and the cat came in. The woman said, "Welcome. Please tell us your name." Flynn said, "The cat." Well, welcome, Flynn. Well, go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> well, welcome, Flynn said the man. This is Senor Rosa. I am Senor Thomas, and this is your home. Look around. We'll make lunch. So. Flynn walked through the bedroom, the living room, and the bathroom. You see that? Before he went into the kitchen, the kitchen smelled fishy, delicious. Flynn could tell by the smell that this lunch would be grand. At last, lunch is served. Oh, what beautiful words! Signora Rosa and Signor Thomas sat down at the table. Flynn sat on the table. Uh oh! You see that? Uh oh! Mi amigo. Cried Signora Rosa, "My friend, mi casa es su casa. My home is your home. But in my home, everyone dresses for meals. Only those with clothes sit at the table." Flynn jumped to the floor, and he thought, "Hmm." Then he went to the bedroom where he'd seen the dolls. One doll wore a wedding dress, and the other wore a fine tuxedo. Flynn took the doll's tuxedo off. He put on the pants. He put on the shirt, the jacket, and the tie. Look at that. He looks pretty good. He went back to the kitchen and jumped on the table. Que bien, Senora Rosa smiled. How nice! You look so handsome. Flynn sat by his plate. Senor Thomas coughed. Flynn, my amigo, said Senor Thomas. Mi casa es su casa. My home is your home. But in my home, people must sit on chairs. To eat dinner here at the table. Ah. Flynn jumped jumped from the table. He sat on his chair. Now he couldn't see his plate. He couldn't see the people. Just the tips of his ears peeked over the table. So Flynn stood on the chair with his paws by his plate. No elbows on the table," said Signora Rosa. Flynn sat on the chair, and he thought. Hmm. <laughs> um. <laughs> Flynn.
Flynn jumped down again and walked into the living room. He'd seen pillows there on the sofa. Flynn took a pillow to put on the chair. He sat on the pillow. He was tall enough now. No elbows on the table. Muy bien, said Senor Thomas. Very nice. Senor Rosa picked up the big plate. Flynn picked up his, perked up his whiskers. But Senor, Senora cried, Flynn, I almost forgot. Mi casa es su casa. My home is your home. But in my home, people must wash their hands before they may eat at the table. Flynn washed his paws with his tongue every day and licked his paws now. They were clean. Senor Thomas smiled. Please use soap, he said. Flynn thought soap was sticky and stinky and cold. But he went to the bathroom and jumped to the sink. Flynn patted the soap with one paw, then the other. He didn't get suds on the tiny tuxedo. Flynn rinsed off his paws and then he licked them both dry. Flynn went back to his pillow. He straightened his tie. Qui bien? <laughs> we gotta start over. No. I forgot to write that down. Keep going. I can't. Get over here. No, no, let's no. try it again. Let's do it again. No. Start with K bien. No. <laughs> I don't speak Spanish. I don't. Okay. Let's try this over again. No. Okay. <laughs> We're going to be the worst parents ever. No, we're the worst grandparents ever. <laughs> okay, okay, here we go. Que bien. The senior, que bien. Que bien. The senior Senora Rosa. Rosa. She's been in the United States too long. <laughs> okay, here we go. Que bien. The Senora Bean. How nice! It's <laughs> we gotta start this over. No, okay. <laughs> keep rolling. Oh, um, uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay, what she did? Okay, Jeez. okay. So she served everyone tuna tacos. What a fishy, delicious feast! Oh, yummy! Senora Thomas whispered, "Flynn, mi amigo." Flynn lifted his face from his plate and saw that Senior Thomas held his taco in his hand. So Flynn picked up his taco too. It still tasted better than catnip. Ah! Flynn licked his paws and wiped fish from his whiskers and sighed when his tuna was all gone. He loves his tuna. Senora Rosa put peas on his plate. Flynn sniffed the peas. He poked one with his paw. We use our spoons for peas, said the senor. Flynn picked up his spoon and used that to poke the peas. Don't play with peas. Eat them, said Senora Rosa. But Flynn did not want to eat the squishy peas. He covered them with his napkin. Uh-oh. Sneaky little thing. Flynn, Senora Rosa sang, Mi casa es su casa. My home is your home. But in my home, a person must eat up his peas if he wants chocolate cake for dessert. But Flynn, Flynn was a cat, and cats don't like cake any more than they like squishy peas. So Flynn jumped from his chair 
He went back to the bedroom and gave the doll back his tuxedo, the pants, the shirt, the jacket, and the tie. Then Flynn took the chair pillow back to the sofa. Finally, Flynn jumped up onto the sofa. He washed lovely leftover tuna from his toes. He didn't use water and cold stinky soap. He just licked just the way that cats like to. Then Flint, Flynn stretched out over the long sofa. He yawned and closed his golden eyes. He could smell chocolate cake as the two people ate. He smelled fish again as they washed up the plates. Then Flynn heard footsteps come close to the sofa. He opened his eyes. He saw two people smiling. Senor Thomas, Senor Rosa, Flynn asked. Su casa en mi casa? Your home is my home? Yes, mi amigo, of course. They both said, oops. <laughs> uh, Gracias, Flynn said. I thank you, my Hold friends. On. Let's back up a little bit. Okay. One, two, three. Yes, yes me mi amigo. amigo. Of, of course, course, they both said. Gracias, Flynn said. I thank you, my friends. Mi casa es su casa, too. And in my home, you must have a warm, roomy lap if you wish to sit on the sofa. So Senor Thomas made a warm, roomy lap. Senora Rosa did too. Flynn looked from one to the other. Please sit closer together, he said. They did. Flynn stretched across both laps at once. He closed his eyes. Cape Bien, Flynn sighed, and everybody purred. And then they had a very nice evening. <laughs>